Hello, this is Dee from dmiddleton.com. Today we'll look at some of my favorite tips and ideas from minimalism experts on how and why to create a minimalist home. Let's look at our first quote from podcasters Joshua Fields Milburn and Ryan Nicodemus, also known as Minimalist. Minimalism is a tool that can assist you in finding freedom, freedom from fear, freedom from worry, freedom from overwhelm, freedom from guilt, freedom from depression, freedom from the trappings of consumer culture, we've built our lives around real freedom. That doesn't mean there's anything inherently wrong with owning material possessions. Today's problem seems to be the meaning we assign to our stuff. We tend to give too much meaning to our things, often forsaking our health, our relationships, our passions, our personal growth, and our desire to contribute beyond ourselves. And of course, you can't quote decluttering experts or minimalism experts without speaking about Joshua Becker. Let's see what he has to say on becomingminimalist.com. Statistics indicate that 75% of parents are too busy to read to their children at night. A rising number of children are being placed in daycares and after school activities. Americans are having a hard time finding opportunity for vacation these days. About 33% of Americans living with extreme stress daily. And nearly 50% of people say they regularly lie awake at night because of stress. This is a problem. Activity is good, but we can become too busy. Over the past 14 years of minimizing my possessions, and embracing greater intentionality in life, I've given lots of thought to this question. How do we unbusy our lives but continue to pursue a significant and productive life? Let's look at what Joshua Becker has to say about busyness. Unbusy people know their purpose. Unbusy people are adamant about saying no to things that do not align with their mission. Unbusy people know they have a choice in life. Unbusy people say no to almost everything. Unbusy people don't get distracted by unfulfilling pursuits. Unbusy people value the significance of rest. A minimalist lifestyle is the process of identifying what is essential in your life and having the courage to eliminate the rest. When you remove the unnecessary, you free up your time and capacity to focus on the things that truly matter in your life. Less is more. With so many distractions around us, we often find it challenging to create time and space to enjoy the simple things in life, like spending time with our loved ones, exercising, getting creative, cooking, or just doing nothing. We're too busy being overwhelmed by the physical, digital, and mental clutter, leading to increased anxiety and an overall sense of dissatisfaction. As you can see, minimalism has many benefits and adds value to our lives. I created my year-long thorough declutter series to begin the journey of minimalism in my cluttered home. Are you clearing out clutter? Let me share with you some of the best decluttering hacks and easy ways to declutter the home. I wanna help you learn the step-by-step -step decluttering schedule I created to declutter and organize every space in your home. You'll find a declutter in your house checklist for every room on my website, linked in this video description. Welcome to my year-long thorough declutter series. It was designed to provide help for cluttered homes. Find organizing ideas, decluttering hacks for your home, and learn how to stay motivated using some declutter inspiration found over on my blog, dmiddleton.com. The best way to develop a new habit is by slowly and daily application. In the year-long Thorough Declutter series, we declutter 30 minutes a day, five days a week. Sign up to receive daily encouragement and motivation. Currently, we are decluttering the home office. Here are your daily decluttering tasks for June 27th through July 1st, 2022. Your task for Monday, June 27th, is to declutter any dried out pens or markers. The task for Tuesday, June 28th, is to declutter any broken electronics. The task for Wednesday, June 29th, is to declutter your power cords. The task for Thursday, June 30th, is to declutter your notebooks, calendars, and planners. And finally, your task for Friday, July 1st, 
is to declutter your tax files. Of course, you'll want to follow the IRS guidelines here if you are a U.S. citizen. You can also join me in this declutter series by subscribing here on YouTube. You can download my free ebook, Make Over Your Homemaking, over on my blog, dmiddleton.com. There you can find my declutter printables and deep cleaning printables on my site, which I'll link in the video description. Now leave a comment below and share how the idea of minimalism is inspiring you to declutter.